Hey, I'm Jonathan Oxer, and this is the Super Lab, or at least it's going to be eventually. I hope this is what we're working towards. I'm really excited because today is the day that I get to start doing a little bit of stuff in here to set it up. Before we really change anything though, let's have a quick look inside. I'm gonna show you how it all fits together. You've probably seen the 3D plans already because I've talked about them on the live stream, and this is the physical space that it's gonna fit into. So where we are right now is the main roller door that goes into the factory area. This roller door is big enough to run a semi into. Uh, I won't be doing that, but it's good to have all that access. And there's a little human sized door as well. The front door is just down here. There's a whole lot of stuff that still needs to be cleaned out, but this is the starting point. And then the end result of this hopefully will be the super lab. So let's check it out. I can't really properly get into it yet because there's still stuff in the way, but this is the area that I think is going to be where my main workbench will be. It'll go along this wall. I'll probably end up blanking off this window and wrap around here. So this is going to be the equivalent of what I currently have in my lab at home. So room for a computer, electronics, microscope and gear and all that sort of stuff. So this is basically going to be the center point of where my new home is going to be. And this wall is what we're going to demolish. We're going to rebuild this. The original plan was to save most of the structure of the wall, put in two doors into this gap here, one door going into the clean room, one going into the packing area and stock storage and all of that sort of thing, and put a big window in here. But as we were looking at it, we realized that there really wasn't much of the structure that needed to be saved. So, well, that could be saved. So the decision is that we're going to demolish this wall it's not structural, it's just like a partition wall. And then use cool room panels like the rest of the clean room to make a new wall along here. And then we're rethinking the door arrangement here as well. I'm not quite sure how that's going to end up. It may end up with one door on this wall going into the clean room and one door going through that wall, which is a concrete block wall into the rest of the factory space. Now walking through this big gap, big hole in the wall, this is into the main factory area. You can see that there are some white sheets of core flute there lying. That is delineating the boundary. So the area in front of that is the area that I'm going to take over. Behind that is more of Lachlan's factory. So a lot of the things that you can see in here, like all of the steel storage, there is some timber over there, a um, couple of bits of equipment and some benches that will end up being moved out. You can see Lachlan's forklift here with the and the cage on it because he was up changing some light fixtures I think and then coming around the corner so this is turning back around and looking towards the lab area again you can see that wall that we're going to demolish there is the uh, the fire hose in the corner back left again so this is looking at the inside of the roller door more stuff down there that will need to be moved and that's going to be my mechanical area. So that's where I'll have the CNC machine, probably laser cutter, other odds and ends down in there. But the thing I really care about is this space here. This mostly clear bit of floor is where the clean room is going to be. So the pick and place machines are going to end up going right about here. This is the area that will be the production line. And I still haven't decided which direction it's going to go, whether it will be solder paste at this end going through the machines to reflow at the other end, or solder paste at that end through the machines to reflow at this end. It's going to be a bit of a U-shaped workflow just because production lines are extremely long. It's a, a whole sequence of things. Once it comes out of the reflow oven, I need boards to be able to go through a manual inspection process and loading of parts. And they also then need ultrasonic cleaning and testing and all of those sorts of things. So whichever way it goes, the uh, boards will probably start at one end go down the center of the room, do a U-turn, and then come back down one side wall where things like the ultrasonic cleaner are going to be. So uh, this will all be roofed in. There is power here. There is three-phase power on a, a cable that can be moved around. And the front wall is going to be probably somewhere around here. This is about the area where the main dividing wall will be, and then it will be roofed in. So this area here, is eventually going to be the clean room. So one of the first things I need to take care of before we can really begin the process of starting to build it back up again is finish tearing it down, starting with this. So this wall has got to come down. We've got to pull up the carpet. And uh, because we're generating so much uh, 
mess and garbage out of this. It's going to take a little while to dispose of it all. It's got to go into the bin, which gets emptied once a month. So yeah, we'll be accumulating a bit of stuff here. But first thing, get down this wall. Ah, it's being held on by the, um, it's the wallpaper. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. All right. And caught by the hose. Sorry, blast it down. Yeah. Hooray! Natural light now. Yeah. So, what's the operation on this? Oh, it's just a lever up and down. Yeah. All right, going up. Oop. That's down. <laughs> And that's it for today. We've done this big bit of demolition. We've got to do a fair bit of cleanup now, uh, but we're at the point where we can almost start the construction. So, catch you next time.